Hello, homework help page 20. Um, I recorded this earlier and then went back to watch it and found out that the entire video was fuzzy. So I'm just going to go over this. As you can see, I'd already completed the work, so I'm just going to explain what I did here in a way that now that you can actually see my paper um, might make a little more sense. So on number one, it says to complete the chart, and we're going based off of the shape here. Vertices are the points where all of the lines meet. Okay, and there are four, one, two, three, four for this shape. Straight edges are then the lines between the vertices. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six for this shape. There are no curved edges to this shape, so I put zero. Flat faces are then the panels between all of the edges. So there's the one on top here, the one in front here, and the two that are behind. So there are four total. And there are also no curved surfaces. This is an all straight edged uh, shape. So there's a zero there. You're going to be doing the same thing for the bottom shape. Again, just remembering vertices are the dots. Straight edges are the lines. Flat faces are the, shape, uh, the panels between those straight lines. Number two says to draw nickels to match the price tag. Then write a matching equation. Nickels are five cents each, so it's counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. And I showed you here that two fives make 10 and two tens make 20. The matching equation then is the number of nickels I drew times the fact that a nickel is worth five, so a total of 20 cents here. Then for number three, it's figure out the amount left on the gift card after buying the item. Write number sentences to show your thinking. So I have $120 gift card and I spent 45, so I'm solving the equation 120 minus 45. So first, to mental math, I'm going to take away 20 so I can get to 100. Then from 100, I'm going to take away another 20 to get 80. And then I've already subtracted 20 and 40 and I had to subtract 45, so I'm going to subtract 5 more to get a total of 75. So my answer is 120 minus 45 equals 75. So whatever your thinking is to solve this problem, just make sure to show it to me on the paper here. Okay, and the keyword for this math page is shapes. So write that at the top of your math page and you'll get an extra class dojo point. All right, bye and see you hopefully for an in-focused page 21.